Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are falling. Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, this is Saturday morning. It's pretty early in the morning. And Marie and I, we've got several things that we want to go off and do today. And so what we're going to do for supper tonight, we're going to cook a chuck roast and we're going to cook it with some vegetables and we're going to cook it all in the crock pot. So this should turn out to be a very good meal. There's not a lot of ingredients to it and it's real easy to make. Uh, we'll, this chuck roast here is just a little less than two pounds and this was the smallest one they had. Uh, I picked it particularly because it's just going to be the two of us and this will be perfect for two meals for both of us i'll also be using five small potatoes uh, two stalks of celery some carrots be using one pack of beef stew seasoning mix i've got a little bit of spices i've got a salt pepper and just a little bit of italian dressing i'll be adding a little bit of worcestershire salts and some uh, beef broth to it so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to sear this uh, chuck roast on both sides and just brown it up a little bit before I put it in the crock pot. Okay, I've already got the eye on, so maybe it's a little bit hot already. Okay. Okay, on this step of searing the meat, uh, you do not have to do this. This is strictly if you want to. Uh, that's, you know, it's just optional. I'm going to go ahead and sear it this time. If I'm in a hurry, I usually just put the meat straight in the crock pot and start cooking it. Okay, I'm going to give a little spray inside the crock pot real quick. Okay, that looks good. That's the, uh, that's the perfect size for uh, pot roast right there that'll be just perfect okay now I'm gonna start peeling the potatoes cutting up the celery and the carrots and also I'm gonna put about a half of an onion in here too I forgot to get that out but let me get started getting my vegetables prepared
and <clears throat> on the potatoes, I like to cut them up in big chunks. And let me take them over here and rinse them off. Okay, I've got all my vegetables cut up, so I'm going to go ahead and start placing them in. I'm going to put the onions in first, get them down toward the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to put some carrots. And next, I'm going to put some celery. And last thing I'm going to put in will be the potatoes. I always keep the potatoes sitting in water so that they don't turn brown uh, before you cook them. Okay, now I'm going to get my beef broth in there, and what I'm going to do first, <clears throat> I've got two bouillon cubes in here, so I'm going to stir them, make sure they're stirred up good. And I'm gonna, this is about three cups of beef broth. I'm going to add my salt, pepper, and uh, Italian seasoning to it. And then I'm going to add the one pack of beef stew seasoning mix stir it up real good then I'm going to put about maybe one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce you can tell this pollen has been bad around here uh, lately, I, my voice is about gone. Okay, and there's some Worcestershire. Okay, next I'm just going to pour it in on top of the uh, roast beef. Okay, that looks real good. I'm going to put the lid on it. We're going to uh, let this cook for about eight hours on low. But first thing I'll do is I'm going to turn it up to high. And I'll let it cook on high for maybe the first hour just to get it started heating up real good. Then I'll set back to low for the next seven. So uh, this will be ready this evening. Like I said, Marie and I, we got some plans for today. And so we're going to be gone a little while this morning, but this will be our meal for this evening. So when we get back, we'll serve it up and show you how it looks. Okay, everyone, I'm back. The chuck roast has been cooking for about eight hours now. And wow, it just smells so good. Can't wait to eat some of it. Let me go ahead and open this up. And what I'm going to do, 
you can see that the you know it's good and juicy in there looks real good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up just a little bit of cornstarch and I've got some water here just a little bit of water I'm gonna make a little slurry and probably just a couple of spoons full of cornstarch this up. And that might not be quite enough. I might need one more spoonful. Let me get one more spoonful of cornstarch. Okay, I believe that'll be enough. Add this to the uh, juice to help thicken it up just a little bit. Okay, let me stir this in some. That should thicken it up and let us have a little bit of good thick brown gravy to go with the uh, roast. Okay, so I'm going to cover it back up, let it cook for just a little bit longer. Probably, I'm going to guess that probably 30 more minutes will be enough. I'll go ahead and get some plates and get ready to serve it. And we should be enjoying a good meal here in just a few minutes. So I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Uh, the chuck roast has been cooking for just a little bit over eight hours. It really smells great. Uh, I've been letting it cool down for just a few minutes. Hopefully we can enjoy it. We do have cornbread to go with it. We also have a piece of Marie's strawberry pie that she made yesterday. And also we're gonna have some sweet tea. So let me try to get some of this out and see how it's going to go. Okay, there's one good piece of meat. And get a couple of vegetables here. That uh, The gravy looks good and thick. As it cools off, it'll get even thicker. And let me get me a couple of carrots in mine. Okay. There's my plate, Marie. Don't know if the camera pick it up up there, but mm. that looks good. Okay. Now let me try to get you some. That meat just fell apart, didn't it, Marie? Yeah. That's enough for me. Is that enough for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's sort of a small piece. We'll get you one more small piece of that meat, Marie, because it's that was a sort of a small piece there. And get Marie a couple extra carrots there. Okay, there you go, Marie. Looks good, don't it? Hello. Okay, you ready to do a taste test, Marie? Yes. Let's go ahead. Okay, it cut with the fork. Yeah, it's good and tender. Mm-hmm. Got good flavor to it, don't Marie? Mm -hmm. I still think the best part's gonna be that strawberry pie though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that strawberry pie is good. 
Of course, we know Marie's cornbread is going to be fantastic. She always makes great cornbread. It was very good and very tender, wasn't it? It was. I think we're going to really enjoy this. I can't wait to get in there and start eating it. And as like I say, as it cools off, this gravy is going to get even thicker. And actually, I may put a little gravy on top of my cornbread because I bet it'd be good like that one, right? Yeah. But we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to the pie. Uh, I think the whole meal is going to be great. Hope you enjoyed watching us make this video. And uh, if you try this meal, I know you're going to love it. Everybody loves uh, chuck roast with uh, vegetables, don't they, Marie? Yeah. <laughs> Especially, I don't think I got any celery in mine, but I may dig in here and get a couple pieces of celery to go with it because I do like celery with mine too. So uh, we'll go ahead and close the video out for here. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and we will see you on our next video. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do, and bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking But you show me life is full of faces. Sometimes clouds got it.